Hey guys, I'm Drew357. We have a Terran Tactical Combat Master. This is an STI gun. It's the John Wick 3 model. Though we could never touch Keanu Reeves' skill in the John Wick movie shooting this gun, we're going to have some fun with it. Let's shoot it. This gun shoots really fast. Let's bring it over to the table and take a look at it. So as I said before, this is a Terran Tactical Innovations gun. They've done a really nice job with this SDI 2011. You can see from first glance, it's got a nice flared magwell for loading magazines quickly. There's your magazine release. It's got dual slide serrations, one at the front and back of the gun. They're beautiful. Uh, makes for getting an easy, press check. On this side of the gun they have uh, Terran Tactical, the logo there, Combat Master. You can see SDI with the shape of the state of Texas where they're made. And then it says 2011. For those of you that might not know, a 1911 is a single stack, usually a 45 ACP, but 9 millimeter. But this is a double stack 9 millimeter. And since then in 2020 these guns are now called Staccatos. STIs are. So uh, the front sight is a Dawson Precision fiber optic sight. It's got an adjustable rear SDI sight. And the controls on this gun, uh, the safety is ambi. For you left-handed shooters, you'll really appreciate that. It's very easy to do with one hand. And also the slide lock is extremely easy to do with one hand. These guns are finely tuned, so I try not to drop it on an empty chamber. Um, as far as the trigger goes, that's done by Extreme Engineering Fire Control Group. So let me let you see that trigger pull and the reset. Very smooth. There's the reset. One pound, 12.6. Let me do it one more time. One pound, 9.4 ounces. 38.6 ounces. And how about we put a loaded magazine in here? This is one of the Terran Tactical Innovation ones. This is a 22 rounder. It says 20 rounds, but you can get 22 in there. Let's see what it weighs now. 52.4 ounces. If I have these gloves on because the gun is really hot, and I want to take it apart, but I don't want to burn myself. So first, we'll make sure the gun's unloaded, and it is. And then just like a normal 1911, you pull it back until this little half moon shape on the slide is there. Push through on the other side. And then I like to try to get my fingernail under here to pull the slide lock out. From here, it comes apart similar to a 1911. Now this is a little different when you take it down the STIs, you push this forward, the guide rod, and push this little piece out like that till it catches. And then as it comes back, you turn it 180 degrees, and it pops right out. It's pretty slick the way this gun comes apart. And then here's your barrel, which this is bronze colored. It has a special coating called a PVD coating. Uh, it's supposed to make the barrel withstand high heats from a lot of shooting and, and the elements, and it also makes it more uh, lubricated for sliding. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I have a short video where we take the gun apart, and then if you have a punch, you push it in here, and you can remove your firing pin. And then if you get into this part right here, you can also take out your, your ejector. So the gun comes apart very similarly to a 1911 and other 2011s. So let's go ahead and put it back together. Uh, the first thing I like to do is get the barrel, carefully slide it in until you hear it click in. I move this link back. Okay, now just the opposite. We want to put this in so that this is facing downward. Turn it as you go in. All right, push it forward. This will come down. Now this can be the hardest part, but I found this gun does it pretty well. If, if you hold this up at an angle, carefully 
slide the grip back on. And sometimes you might have to move things around a little bit. You got to be very careful you don't scratch your gun when you're coming up here. That iconic idiot scratch. You don't want to put that on a gun like this. Slide it back till your half moon's even. Push down. And there you go. You're ready to shoot again. So we can see there's another STI beside it. This gun is the another 2011. It's the DVCP. It's got a surefire light on the front. We're going to get this gun out next. We have a field stripping video we're working on. It's got a nice Trigicon sight. And this is another gun, the Wilson Combat EDC X9. This is the black edition. It could also be referred to as a 2011 double stack. And very similar to this gun is the new Kimber KDS 9C rail. We've done a video of this gun too. You can check it out. Very similar to the Wilson Combat. And then we thought we had to bring out a regular 1911. This is a Maiden 2000, a Kimber Custom CDP2. 45 ACP. So if it hadn't have been for the design of these guns, you probably wouldn't see these 2011s now. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and try to shoot something a little further away now. Why don't we see if it can hit the gong? Yeah, this gun shoots very smooth. I'll be honest with you, I'd, I'd never shot a Staccato or a 2011 before I shot these two guns in here. And all I can say is you, you better be very careful when the trigger resets that you don't accidentally shoot a shot off. Because with that light trigger, you can get rapid fired shots off very quickly. Before we take a few more shots, I want to thank some of our sponsors, Ballastol, for sending us these fluids. They work really well cleaning your gun. If you haven't ever tried Ballastol, go to Ballastol.com and order some. And also we want to thank Widener's Reloading and Shooting Supply for sending us all this ammo to shoot through these guns. Uh, check out their website. They have a lot of deals going on. Great company. And we also want to thank Talon Grips uh, for their support of our channel too. Go to TalonGrips.com and check out some of the grip tape and slide tape you can get for many different kinds of guns. Let's take a few more shots. Wow. I have never shot a gun that runs as quickly as this one. Uh, we appreciate you guys stopping by today. If you want to check us out on Instagram, our handle is fieldstrip357. We like to post some extra videos, things you might not see on our YouTube page there, and we'll also let you know of our upcoming videos. So anyhow, thank you if you're a new channel supporter, a new subscriber. Uh, we hope you've been enjoying our videos. Tell us some of the guns that you like and you might like to see. So check back with us, Drew357. We'll see you on the next one. This gun is the John Wick 3 gun. Though we can't touch Keanu Reeves' skill in the John Wick movies, we can sure have some fun, so let's shoot it. <laughs>